Hey, there is no judgment for me if you thought green split peas are only good for split pea soup. Until recently, I thought the same thing, but today I'm sharing a super simple way to cook with them that has nothing to do with soup. So here's what you'll need for this recipe for split pea salad. Grab a bag of green split peas and measure out two thirds of a cup. You'll also want a cup and a half of a cooking liquid like water or vegetable broth. I'm also using a package of cherry tomatoes sliced in half, one can of sweet corn, or if you're using fresh or frozen, this is about a cup and a half, as well as half of a red onion, diced small, a big pile of parsley, and a slightly smaller pile of basil. Now, one of my favorite things about cooking with green split peas, as opposed to other types of dried beans or legumes, is that you don't have to soak them, and the cooking time is relatively quick, so I usually start that first before I finish those other prep steps. They're also incredibly easy to cook on the stove top. So just heat up a small saucepan and bring that liquid along with your green split peas to a simmer. Let that go for about 20 minutes. All of that liquid is going to get absorbed and soaked up and the green split peas are gonna become nice and tender without losing their shape. And if you're planning to scale this recipe, just aim for about a two to one ratio. This measurement always seems to work the best for me. And if you do happen to have any leftover after the green split peas are tender, just strain it through a colander and give them a little refresh under some cool running water. Green split peas are pulled so they come from the same family as lentils and other legumes like beans and chickpeas. This entire category is incredibly nutritious and something we honestly should probably be eating more of. It's a good source of fiber and plant-based protein, as well as other important nutrients like B vitamins, magnesium, potassium, and phosphorus. Beans and lentils are also incredibly affordable. So if your grocery budget is feeling a little bit squeezed these days, this is a good thing to add to your shopping list. Now the recommended amount of beans and lentils we should aim for each week is a cup and a half. And conveniently enough, that is exactly what this recipe will yield. So I think this is a perfect option for meal prep. As you kind of eat your way through it throughout the week, you automatically know you've hit that recommended intake for your legumes like green split peas. Now, once your split peas are fully cooked, get them off the heat and let them start cooling down. We don't want to have that residual heat when we go to mix our salad because it might wilt some of the other ingredients. I like to use this time to multitask, so finishing up the dressing is next on our list. I'm using about a tablespoon of lemon zest and about a tablespoon of lemon juice. It doesn't have to be exact and you can always adjust the seasonings later. I'm also using about two tablespoons of olive oil, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, two cloves of minced garlic or about two teaspoons since these cloves are pretty big, and about one or two teaspoons of honey depending on how sweet you like your dressing. And of course, I can't help but add a little bit of MSG. Anytime it says season with salt to taste, I'm usually reaching for this instead. Get everything into a jar with a tight fitting lid and give it a good shake. That Dijon mustard is going to help the olive oil emulsify into all the other ingredients and you can just set that aside until you're ready to add it to our salad. And now the fun part really starts. We get to mix everything together and taste it. So in no particular order, just get all of those ingredients into a big enough mixing bowl that you can fold it together without spilling. Pour the dressing on top and give it a good mix and that's it, you're done, and you can enjoy that green split pea salad as is right now. But like I mentioned, it's also a really good meal prep option, so pop it in the fridge, and you can enjoy it either chilled or at room temperature later with no reheating required. The split peas will really hold their shape and texture without becoming overly soggy, but if you wait more than two or three days to eat those leftovers, the other vegetables might get a little bit soggy. So you can get around that by leaving the salad undressed, and that might extend that storage life by another day or two. This split pea salad is big on color, flavor, and texture, so I think it really punches above its weight for satisfaction. But it's not too shabby in the nutrition department either, so in each serving, you're getting about 12 grams of fiber and about 12 grams of plant-based protein. It's flexible and forgiving, and I cannot get enough of it. You will find me eating this salad all year long. I hope you give it a try and love it as much as I do. My name is Kara, and I'm the dietitian behind Street Smart Nutrition, and thank you so much for watching. This channel is all about fearlessly nourishing meals, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll look forward to seeing you in another video soon.